Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am continuing the problems related to permutations and combinations. In the last sessions, we already discussed few problems and few models of problems related to permutations and combinations. Uh, in this session, we are going to discussing about a few more problems. Uh, let's see the first question in this session. See here, a question paper contains a question paper contains three sections. Here, the information is very important. Read the information carefully and uh, solve the question accordingly. See, a question paper contains three sections. Each section contains uh, four questions. Here, there are three sections. There are three sections. One, two, three. Total three sections. And in each section, we are having four questions. In each section, we are having how many questions? Four questions. Here, four questions. Here, four questions. Here also, four questions. In each and every section, we are having four questions. It means total 12 questions. Now, the question what he is asking is, in how many ways, in how many ways can a student attempt seven questions? Can a student attempt seven questions? Here, total 12 questions are there. Out of that, student can attempt only seven questions, right? So, without any condition, if you want to select seven questions out of uh, 12, it is very easy to write down the answer. That is 12C7. It means that out of 12 questions, you are selecting seven questions. Uh, selection is nothing but it is a combination. Without any condition, your answer is uh, 12C7. That is the answer. But... Here one condition is given. What is a condition given? Seven questions so that uh, he attempts at least two questions from each of the sections. Uh, here the condition is very important. At least two questions. At least in the sense uh, in the last sessions also I explained uh, what is the meaning of at least and what is the meaning of at most. Uh, at least means minimum at least means uh, minimum minimum two questions he needs to uh, attempt from each of the sections and the total number of questions he needs to attempt is uh, seven so at least two in the sense i can take two 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 if i take all twos from each and every section total i can able to attempt only six questions I can able to attempt only six questions. But according to the question, we need to attempt how many questions? Seven. It means that I can select uh, three questions from third section. Or else, it is also possible to select uh, three questions from second section and remaining two are from one and three. If I select three questions from first section, then remaining two, uh, two, two questions from second and third. Here, if you observe carefully, you can able to solve this question in three possible cases, in three possible ways. So, entire first way is multiplication, entire second way individually multiplication, entire third way is also multiplication. But here it is not two into two into three. Here the thing is, uh, you have to be very much careful about this particular point. Uh, in section 1, in first section total, 4 questions are there. Out of 4, you are selecting only 2. Selecting 2 questions out of 4, that is 4C2. Here also same thing. In second section, 4 questions are there and you are selecting only 2. That is also 4C2. Here you are selecting 3. It happens 4C3 ways. In the similar fashion, second way 4C2 into 4C3 into 4C2. And third way is also same thing. 4C3 into 4C2 into 4C2. Now you can calculate each and every value. If you observe carefully, each and every number is same. Here 4C2, 4C2, 4C3. 4C2, 4C2, 4C3. 4C2, 4C2, 4C3. Each and every value is same. Once you calculate one value, it is very easy to get the remaining two. Okay. Here, 4C2 means. 
4 c2 is nothing but 4 into 3 divided by 2 into 1. Here this value is 6. 4 c2 is 6. 6 into 6 into 4 c3 is nothing but 4 c1 which is equal to 4. Now you can multiply these two. Here 36. 6 into 6 36. 36 into 4 which is equal to 144. 144. This first value is 144. Similarly, second value is also 144 and uh, third value is also 144. After all this calculation, what you have to do is you need to add all the values. Uh, here, this is the best example to, uh, to, get, to know the main difference. Uh, what is the main difference between uh, multiplication and addition? when we have to use multiplication and when we have to use addition. Here, I am using multiplication symbol till I selected 7 questions. If I able to select 7 questions in a different possible ways, entire first way is multiplication, entire second way is multiplication, entire third way is multiplication, after that, I need to add all the values. After that, I need to add all the values. This is the best example to understand the difference between a multiplication and addition. Here, if you add all these three, 144, 144 and 144. Here, the units place is 12 and this is 12 plus 113 and this is 432. 432 is the required answer for this question. In 432 ways, can a student attempt 7 questions so that uh, he attempts at least, uh, at least in the sense, minimum 2 questions from each of the section. Here the answer is uh, 432. Let's move on to the next question. See here, very important. A committee of 5 members a committee of five members is to be selected from a group of six men and four women. Here, a group is consisting of six men and four women. Now, we need to form a committee of four members. We need to form a committee of five members. Sorry. Form a committee of five members. Now, the condition which is given as in how many ways can the committee be formed so that it contains more men than women? It contains more men than women. Men should be in a majority as comparing with the women. If I want to select five members out of all the members, if I want the condition more men, it means I have to choose at least three men. If I select uh, three men and remaining two are women, if I select four men and remaining one person, women, and uh, there is another possibility that I can choose all are men only and women are zero. So many students are, doesn't count this particular way. This is also one of the possible way of choosing. Why? Because uh, here the condition is, uh, understanding of condition is very important. Uh, here he is saying that uh, men should be in a majority. Men should be more men than women. More men than women. That is the condition. But he is not saying that uh, exactly at least one woman should be there in the committee. That particular condition is not there. If the condition is more men than women, then you can also choose five men out of six. That is also one of the possible cases. Now, here total we are having six men and four women. Now, in the first case, here this is first one. In the first case, I am selecting three men out of six. That is possible in six C3 ways. In two. And next... Here, I am selecting two men out of uh, four. Selecting two men out of four, which is uh, possible in four C2 ways. And this is the first case. And the uh, second possible way is this one. I can able to choose uh, four members from men and uh, remaining one person from women. Here, selecting four men out of six. Uh, that is 64 into 
फोर सी वन सेलेक्टिंग वन वुमेन आउट ऑफ फोर फोर सी वन एंड एट लास्ट आई एम सेलेक्टिंग फाइव मैन आउट ऑफ सिक्स दैट इज सिक्स सी फाइव इन टू फोर सी नॉट फोर सी नॉट आई एम नॉट सेलेक्टिंग इवन ए सिंगल वुमेन फ्रॉम दिस पॉइंट इन दिस केस सो ऑब्वियसली योर रिक्वायर्ड आंसर इज calculate individual values after that uh, you can add all the values sum of all the numbers that will give you the exact answer see 63 63 is nothing but 6 into 5 into 4 divided by 3 into 2 into 1 here it is uh, 6 6 gets cancel and this value is 20 20 into 4 c2 4 c2 means 4 into 3 divided by 2 into 1 here it is uh, 2 3 so 6 20 into 6 which is equal to 120 first way is 120 whereas coming to second way 64 is nothing but 62 i can write it as 62 62 means 6 into 5 divided by 2 here it is 3 into 5 15 into 4 which is equal to 60 15 for sir 60 and last one 65 6c5 is nothing but 6c1 which is equal to 6 and uh, 4c0 4c0 is equal to 1 as we know that nc0 is equal to 1 and also ncn is equal to 1 both are equal to 1 here it is 4c0 which is equal to 1 6 into 1 6 now you can add all these three values 120 plus 60 180 180 plus 6 186 in this way you can uh, solve these kind of problems uh, guys i hope you understand the session thank you thank you very much for watching